What's going on YouTube? Thanks again for checking out another Fat Guy Builds. Today, we're back here with the 05 Roush Mustang. We're doing spark plug boots. We're doing spark plugs. And we're doing a serpentine belt. I'm just gonna lump this all together. I'll put all this shit in the title. Um, but, should save you guys a little bit of money. No one should ever pay somebody to do these three things to their car. So just do it yourself. Here we go. We bought the uh, Motocraft ones off of rockauto.com. So they're a WR6131. And uh, don't forget to buy eight of them. And then for the plugs, we got the SKP Iridium Pros. That part number is SP1001. So these are your coils here. One, two, three, four. First thing we're going to do is squeeze a little tab here. Squeeze it. Then you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Unplug the coils. Do that to all eight of them. So the injector plugs are sort of in the way. You could do this with or without, but I'm just going to unplug the injectors. So just the same thing. Push a little clip, wiggle them off. Do that all the way around, and then you'll have, you know, totally clear room to get the coils out. Now you're going to use a seven millimeter socket and you're going to remove the bolt that holds down the coils. Once again, that's a seven millimeter. Just grab the top, give it a wiggle until it pops out. And there you have it. Just pop all eight of them out. To get the boot swapped, you're going to grab the coil, grab the boot, just give it a little wiggle, wiggle. And a little twist, boom, it's out. Throw that one away. Grab the new one. Slide the spring in all nice. And then give it a little push and wiggle. Boom. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. And just do that now to all the all eight. The auto light, I was confused because the 14 millimeter spark plug socket which works on these um skps wasn't working on the plugs that were in it which are auto lights so the auto lights a 9 16 the skps a 14 millimeter so depending on your car you could either have a 14 millimeter or a 9 16 so for getting the socket down there i have a 12 inch and a 6 inch extension and that works out pretty good it's going to allow me to get to all the holes all the way across so I suggest doing this that way you have enough um, area to turn the ratchet if it was shorter you could smash your knuckles on some of this stuff so just have it longer now I'm going to use some anti-seize on the threads here so just put a little bit like so then take your finger, rub it around. Now that your spark plugs are all in, it's time to put some uh, boot protector, dielectric grease. So you're going to sort of just go around here like so. And then you're going to take your finger and go in like a 360 motion. And then just get a little bit out here on the tip. But this way, when you put it on the spark plug, it doesn't get, the dry rubber doesn't get stuck to the porcelain and you can't get the shit apart. Just reverse operations of what you did to take it apart. You're going to put that the bolt back in and then plug the uh, coil and the injector back in. You can't really screw it up because the way that it's all taped up, this won't reach over there so you can't mix them up. Now it's time to change a serpentine belt. So on the tensioner, there's a spot for a half inch ratchet. So you put the half inch ratchet into there. You're going to push it clockwise. And uh, you're going to want two hands. Let's see it move. So you're going to push it and then slide the belt off. And then put the new belt in the same orientation around the pulleys. Then you're going to push this back down and slip the belt back over. Pretty simple. 
it just uh, takes more than one hand and, uh, and, and make sure you drop your tools. That's a good idea. I'd like to thank everybody checking out this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Don't forget, or I didn't tell you, the serpentine belt pitcher should be on the underside of the hood. If not, Google's your friend, you'll find it. This one has a fiberglass hood, no sticker, so I had to um, Google it to make sure. And then the belt, just go to AutoZone, Napa. But they're all gonna have different part numbers anyways. Just tell them what car you got. But uh, yeah, check me out on Facebook, Patreon, all that stuff. Till next time, wrench on.